Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I'm going to teach you how to make four amazing sauces in minutes. We're going to make a green tomatillo salsa, a red tomato salsa, an avocado sauce, and some tomato salsa with chopped tomatoes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to roast our tomatoes and tomatillos. And here we have a pound of each. Look at the red tomatoes. The skin is peeling off and this is what we want to happen. We don't want to completely roast them to be look looking black, but we just want them to be slightly roasted. And it takes about 20 minutes at 450 degrees. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place them in a bowl. And some of the tomatoes are not ready yet, so we're gonna place them back into the oven. Roast them for 10 more minutes at 450 degrees, or maybe five if they're not too big. These ones are gonna take about 10 minutes more. Once they're roasted and you see that their skin is separating from the tomato, they are ready to go. Here we go. Let's take them out and put the rest of the tomatoes and the tomatillos in each bowl. Look at them, they look perfect, they're soft, they're moist, and inside they're roasted and delicious. Now we're gonna start preparing our sauces. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna process our tomatillos with a quarter of a cup of sliced onion, and a quarter of a cup of diced cilantro. Since our cilantro is being used whole, all we have to do is make sure it's clean and dry, and we're gonna place, it looks like it's a little more, but if it was chopped and minced, it would be about a quarter of a cup. Now we add our tomatillos, and this is a pound of tomatillos, and we're ready to process all our sauce. This is a small food processor, but don't worry, just press them in there, and if not, Process a little bit, open it, add the last of the tomatillos, and finish. You do not need a bigger food processor, this will be perfect. Here we go, turn it on, and process our tomatillos. Check this out, it doesn't take more than 10 or 15 seconds, and our sauce is ready to go. We add a tablespoon of white vinegar and a pinch of salt and pepper and then we're done. We transfer the mix into a bowl where the tomatillos were. You see there was a dark liquid there, that's some of the roasted oils that the tomatillos let out once you take them off the pan. Now let's go for our red tomato sauce. And we do the same thing, a quarter of a cup of sliced or diced onion, and it can be red onion or it can be white onion. We add our cilantro, a quarter of a cup of minced cilantro, or a little more if the leaves are whole. And we're gonna place also in our food processor our tomatoes. These tomatoes will not be peeled or seeded. But for our salsa at the end, you see how the skin comes out so easily? We're gonna peel the tomatoes and remove the seeds. These ones we're gonna use whole. So now we do the same thing, but we're gonna add some key limes or the tiny limes that we use in Latin America instead of the vinegar. So we add the lime and process and our salsa is ready to go. The only thing that we have to add at the end is a little bit of salt and pepper that we add after you add your hot chilies or hot peppers because the more hot peppers you add the less salt you're gonna need. There we go, we finish our processor in seconds and we put it in a second bowl. That's our salsa, our red tomato salsa also into the liquid from the tomatoes that just came out of the oven. Sauce number two is done. Now we're gonna start with our avocado sauce. 
and we're gonna make a avocado sauce or spread that is super easy to make, fast, and it's different, it's simple. We want it to be like this so that you can spread it on and use it as a sauce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna peel and process our avocado. And here I have an avocado. I couldn't find one that didn't have dark pieces, so I'm gonna tell you what to do with it. All you have to do is cut off the dark pieces and you're ready to go. No more problem. You do not have to throw away your avocado or anything. Once you remove the pit from the avocado, you keep it because if you're gonna keep your avocado aside, you definitely want to put the pit into the mixture so it doesn't turn dark. Let's remove the dark sides of our avocado. That way it's gonna be delicious and perfect. Put it in our food processor with our cilantro and our lime juice, that's it. Then, same thing, we add a dash of salt and pepper after we add our spice. And we can add jalapenos or we can add our favorite spicy pepper. So we're gonna use a small lime. You see there are bigger limes and smaller limes, but just the juice of one lime and a quarter of a cup of cilantro leaves too. This will be enough for one avocado. If you wanna do two avocados, then you use the two limes. Here we go, add our cilantro and process. We just process until the avocados have become a smooth spread. You could actually add some yogurt or some cream here and it would be perfect. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna place our avocado into also two containers and we're gonna put the pits in there because we want to keep that beautiful green color and if you leave the pit inside it's even gonna stay there for about two days maybe even three days in that same exact beautiful green color cover your containers tightly and you're ready to go We have three sauces. For our last sauce, we're gonna do our pico de gallo. And remember I said, we're gonna peel the tomatoes and remove the seeds. If you want to, you don't have to peel them, but it's better to remove the seeds so that this sauce is chunky. Remember, the other sauce is more liquid. Now we mix our red onion, our diced, seeded, and peeled tomatoes, cilantro and we're gonna add now some vinegar again we're gonna add white vinegar let's add a little bit of our olive oil and grab our lime and cut and add our lime juice now we're ready to mix and add our pepper. We're gonna add our jalapeno pepper at once. This way you'll have a beautiful pico de gallo. So what we do with the jalapenos is we cut them, seed them, and process them or mince them really small and then add them to the sauce. Scroll down for the recipe. You can print it. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.